everyone, this is Sue. I got a couple journals ready I'd like to show you today. Uh, one is a children's storybook journal, and one is, uh, so I suppose, just kind of a vintage journal made out of an old book cover. I'll go through the, uh, I'll go through this one first. Uh, has an old book. It's called. Um, I can't read it through this. Anyway. <laughs> So it has an image, a little pocket, things can be tucked in there, and uh, some beaded embroidery work, a little earring charm hanging on here. This is kind of an angel with wings for a closure, and uh, this goes through to a little paper fastener, and it has a beaded bracelet for a closure, and when you open it, you just push the book down and then just lift it off over that bow. It's like this is all one piece. So that's the closure. It has uh, three sewn in signatures. And this is the inside. It has some designer paper on some of the pages. And the papers are aged like I normally usually do. It says inspire, tucks in this little pocket. It has a uh, a lot of little beaded embroidered pieces in. This has a piece of paper tucked in this pocket. It says true friend. Just some some aged paper. Tucks tucks in there. Um, when I got the signatures done for this journal, the pages were uh, like this wide. So it um I didn't like the fact that it was kind of set in to the cover, so I extended all the pages with a little piece to make them long enough to come because I wanted them out to the edge of the book. So if you see, you know, the difference in papers, that's what this is. It's an extension. So this is a pocket, little uh, pocket here as well, and a little pretty embroidered piece down in the corner journal page in there, little pocket up here, some more beadwork, this piece of vintage wallpaper, this is a book page I painted over the words, this is a little journal card in the pocket, some stamping, some of the pages fold out, this has another paper page. Some little wallpaper, some foil wrapping paper, fabric embroidered flower on there, another fold out page, and more stamping. This is just an old receipt, it lifts up so you can write underneath. This is a little angels, stationary page. This has a flower collage, and it lifts up so. Place to journal, tuck corner. It has a, it's a little fabric on the edge there, a little sheer fabric for some interest, a little fabric on the edge. This envelope has some gold work, flips out, just to tuck something in there. There's some more of the fabric, it's a pocket. This is a, an old journal page slips out. There's a little sheer fabric with some beading. Another beaded piece there. Mm -hmm. Bead pieces and pockets, and this is a place to hang something. A little journal card tucks in that pocket. A little embroidered piece. This shows your signatures sewed in. Some red, red and white baker's twine. There's a little piece of uh, fabric on there. Lace. More lace, fabric pocket, this piece of seam binding on there, this piece of old wallpaper for tucking things in there, and a piece of uh, lace and stamping, it says inspire, this is just some crepe paper, a little beaded leaf, fabric pocket, this is um, a teapot, some Van Gogh words, satin 
ribbon, little leather pocket, some lace underneath, fabric pockets. It's another receipt paper, some stamping. And that's the one signature, and then this is the second signature. More book pages. I'll maybe flip through a little faster. There's really some delicate trim on here. Once my journals, there's a little pocket here. Once my journals have a certain type of theme that usually carries throughout the journal, this is just some. I'm not sure what kind of paper that is. Like a, it's, a, it's not tissue paper, like a transfer paper or tracing paper. It's a place to put things up in here. Some more beadwork. This has a pocket under here and also a place to tuck things under the up here. Something that maybe isn't quite as wide. Another piece of the little lace. This um, has a sheer pocket in that has this little journal page with this heart. And then this is just uh, hinged on here and it tucks underneath. I don't really like to waste gluing things on a page where you would write. And it just seems kind of redundant. So I like to have pockets and stuff, but this way it's on a pocket, but yet it doesn't take up a, a writing page. So this little pocket with a ticket. And this is a piece of an old hanky. It's just pinned on here. Um, lifts up. And it's fastened up here. It just lifts up to be written on. This is all time card. The time cards are hinged together with some muslin for the center of the signature. And then this one has an envelope that's just glued on with this little journal card inside. A little pocket with some embroidery work. Uh, that way it, I like to just paper clip it together. That way it kind of brings that page out to the edge of the book. I just lift this one shorter. There's some eyelash trim. A leather pocket up here. This is another so, embroidered pocket. This is a tracing paper page. Some nice pages to write on. Pocket. Little book page. This is a this piece said this train on was the extension page. So that's kind of neat. That's the second signature, and this is the this is the third signature. A little pocket here. I oh, when I had this piece of paper in here, for some reason when I would close the book, the edge of this paper would always kind of bend and curl up. So I added this wallpaper corner on here so that it has a little more resistance to. When it hits the page, it doesn't doesn't fold up, so that seemed to work. This little cupcake is a little um, tuck spot. This is just a page, stationary page. This is a uh, embellished paper clip with the vintage lady. She holds that page in there. Graph paper. Angel stationery. It's a paper bag. Has a fabric pocket and a journal card inside. More stamping, tracing paper, little pockets and vintage papers. And recipe card. Some birdhouses on there. It's a journal page. Some stamping on the back. And it's a little lace pocket up here. The recipe card of the bird. This has some seam binding on the edge of this tracing paper. Another embellished
pocket. This is not pretty. It's so pretty. This is another bag. Some paper. Little lace tab. Bird napkin decoupaged on. And this is another flip up. Some lines for writing. Another journal card in there. This is a paper ruffle on the top. Another old receipt, and this is uh, one of my flower collages inside a transparency. It kind of tucks in there. And it's the paper fastener going through the hold the bracelet on. That's the back of the book. Let me see if I can read that. Green. Dolphin Street. That's just the, that's the name of the book. Of course, the book's not in there anymore. But so then you take your closure and bring it up over the little bow and kind of hold your book shut. Like I say, you can. Let's see. I don't really have. You know, something you can tuck in there too. Is so that'd be kind of neat to just have some old tickets or something. If I find something, I'll tuck it in there. Yeah. But. So then, uh, I think maybe for this journal, I'll I'll maybe do. Well, I'll probably do a separate video. Otherwise, the videos get so long and take forever to upload. So this is the storybook journal, and I'll have that video next. So the link to um, this journal will be down below. And it's in my Etsy store. My Etsy store is called Sue Olson, all one word. That's my name, Innkeeper's Journal. So I thank you for watching. Bye now.